Hi, everyone. We hope everybody is doing all right and staying warm out there. We were just reading um, about some cold temperatures, uh, specifically, who was it? Richard Walker Richard. says that it's 28 degrees in Pensacola, Florida. That's, that's cold. very cold. That's I don't actually know cold. how cold it is in New York. We haven't left the house today. That's true. But it feels like old times. Yeah. It feels like the whole uh, the whole rest of the pandemic. Sure. Um, but it has been quite cold. Last night it was quite cold. We mm -hmm. were outside last night. Yeah. I, it yeah, was in it was the cold. teens. It's 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 really cold. Um, it's probably colder here than in Fairbanks right now. Really? I don't I I don't know. Maybe my mom's here and she can tell us. Um, anyways, hello to everybody. Come on in. Grab your seat in the virtual pub and your virtual or real drink, whichever you like. Um, and your tea. virtual or real instruments. Oh yeah, maybe we should say what we're drinking here. Um, my, my starting immediately with a tune, I, I feel like that, experiment, that experiment didn't really work very well. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, it was a little awkwarder than normal, which is, which is saying a lot. Okay, so Chris has some tea. What mm -hmm. sort of tea do you have? It's Harney, um, sort of like a cardamom tea. Oh nice. Yeah. Uh, is that from when I was the tea fluencer? It was actually, yeah. That was a strange moment. Yeah. Um, okay, and I have a really interesting drink here, actually. It's Alaskan, and I was going to give a shout out. And I, I also was thinking about uh, the, the shout outs that we do on, on Tooth Supply, and I just wanted to say, I've said this before, but uh, nothing that we shout out or, or talk about is, is like a paid advertisement. I just want to say that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's like all stuff we actually like. We just talk about things that we like. Yeah. Um, so. The last time I was up in Alaska in December, we, I went to this uh, distillery. Um, it's called Hoarfrost Distillery. And Hoarfrost is like the white kind of frosty stuff that gets on um, your windows or plants or things like that. Um, and they make Russian vodka, like like real serious Russian vodka. Um, the The couple that owns it, the, the guy is a um, chemist. And the woman is a, a Russian. I don't know what she, what else she does besides run the shop, but she's Russian. So yeah. this makes for a really, really good combination. Anyways, they started making these um, uh, infused vodkas, and this is a Alaskan choke cherry liqueur. And um, so I'm having that with some soda. It's quite nice. Sounds nice. I have to say it's yeah. quite nice. I'll have to try that later. So this is the um, 80th session. I. <laughs> Does that deserve applause? I don't, I don't even know if that know. deserves applause because um, it's really weird to me that uh, that COVID is still going. I suppose it's it's more weird to me that COVID is going than that we've done 80 sessions because I True. think we may continue this if and when COVID ends in some respect. But um, we're doing this now because of Omicron, which is wild. I was thinking that the first time we took a break was on the 40th session or after the 40th session. That took us like five months to get to the 40th session. And then it took us a year and a half to get to the 80th session. Yeah which is, which is um, quite funny. We used to do these two times a week. I don't know how we did that. That was, that was insane. I don't know. Too much. It was too much. Yeah. Um, okay. And what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. Um, this is number four of our Omicron sessions. We were initially going to do three, but then we changed it to five because people were coming to the sessions and we were having fun or we are having fun. And, um, and that's all good. I think we are going to, for now, pause it at number five, which will be next week. Um, kind of with the diminuendo of Omicron. And also we are getting other Toon Supply stuff going and maybe we might do something in March. We'll see for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. But um, I just want to say that because if you're enjoying the sessions, um, I, I, I am sorry that we are going to give another pause. One issue is that I teach on Monday nights at the Irish Art Center. So it's kind of hard for us to continue on Monday nights. Um, but I, we hope to see you next Monday. Today is Sunday, just in case anybody forgot. Thank you. And we are doing a session today yeah. on Sunday. Next Monday, January 31st, will be our last of the five pack of Omicron sessions mm -hmm. for now. Um, okay, and with that, let's play some tunes. I was thinking that we should start with some slip tricks. Sounds great. Um, and these are ones that we sometimes play at Mary O's, especially the final one, which is the Fox Hunter slip jig, um, Mary O's classic. The first two are Come Under My Dimity. Now, that has another name that I'm forgetting at the moment. Do you Wheels remember? of the World? Wheels of the World, yes. Or Mall Row, possibly? Wow, how do you know all this? No. Wow, that's very impressive. Okay, so. I could be wrong on that. No, I think the, you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Um, and then the second one is Cahill McConnell's, which is also known as the Cock and the Hen, right? I think? Yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. And that one's in F sharp minor. So the keys are G, F sharp minor, and D major. All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three. 
three. That's got to be one of my favorite subjects. It's so it's really pleasing. Nice. Yeah. It's just a pleasing tune. Um, and I always think of Felicia when we play that tune because it is or used to be her favorite tune. Does but anyone it, out there play that? I've heard it played no. in the last part mm. with the C sharp instead of the C natural. That might be nice. I 
I, I usually play it the C natural, but yeah. I've also heard it. Maybe next time we should try that. Makes nice. sense, because it's, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's remind me next time. Okay. Um, okay, I saw some, I, I haven't been able to read all the, all the uh, chat here, but I saw a couple things. Um, I think somebody was asking where they could get a beautiful sweatshirt like ah, Chris's. Yes, good question. That was, uh, Sue Knight was asking that. Um, well, a bit of bad news <laughs> is that, Sue, you're just, we've, you've just missed our big order that we placed with our um, shirt printer. Um, however, I think in the next few weeks we'll get our inventory back up on our store and you'll be able to buy a sweatshirt again. Yes, there, we ordered extra. There are extra like right now sitting at Toon Supply Alaska headquarters. Um, but the problem is that everything is so, there's like spreadsheets and spreadsheets and numbers and like we actually don't really know how many shirts we have right now. So we didn't want to put it up back up on the, on the, on the store until we know exactly what yeah. we have. So within, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, a week or two, um, we should have the store back mm -hmm up and well the merchandise back up and running and mm -hmm. then you can purchase your very own uh sweatshirt like chris's in yes. various colors so for all of you who ordered t-shirts and sweatshirts those are that order has been sent off to our yes. printer finally and um so within the next couple weeks i think we'll be getting those and yeah. sending them out to you yes so that's all very exciting yes the order finally is done it, it took a lot yeah, of yeah. Uh, late night, late, night, late night calculating yes but it's done um okay and then i also saw there was something else I was going to comment on, and now I, I lost it because it's it has gone off my screen. So we'll 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 look at the the chat and and um, and reply shortly. Okay, so we have a bunch of special guests tonight as usual. Um, before that, I will say the theme, which you guys probably already know from the email, and the theme is ancient history. Um, and there's so many ways you could think about ancient history because um, it really depends on your your scale of time, right? I suppose, yeah. Also, like, if you're a mosquito, ancient history is, like, yes. last week. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So, but I've selected... <laughs> sorry. I was about to go down a longer rabbit hole, and then I was like, Caitlin, stop. Mm. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> okay. We, we selected a few ancient history objects to um, start you guys off, and, and then you can take over in the chat. And also, you, of course, you've sent us some pictures, which will show... Um, this is probably one of my favorite gifts I've ever received. I just received it, actually. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? It is a medieval spork <laughs> made out of, like... Cast some, iron, Cast I think, iron, yeah. 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 And I, um, it, it um, I think, would also double nicely as a weapon, which is probably what I'm yeah. planning to use it for, if necessary. Um, and it is from our bandmate, Ben Power. <laughs> Not on you, oh, not on you, okay. on toast if he jumps up yeah, on the table yeah, right. here. Um, it's from our bandmate, Ben Power, um, who always brings me spectacular, unusual gifts. Um, I don't know if you can see back here, we kind of changed our setup, but I've got a, a real camera back Whoa. here, a real camera that my dad gave me when I was in high school. I have a floppy disk drive. I have no idea why I have that, but I do. Just um, in case. Yep. A Game Boy, of course, that's, that's classic, right? Um, some books, and what else did I have? Oh, yes, let's show them this really quickly. Oh, okay. The map. Do you want to show it? Uh, sure. It, okay. Yeah. Because it, it might be hard to see with the... So this is, this is uh, there's a shop here in New York that sells old maps, and I am a map fan and also trained for a while as a map maker, and this is a map of lower Manhattan from, does it say 18, early 1800s, I believe, and you might know this or not, but Manhattan used to be much narrower at the tip of, of the island um, because, uh, well, what happened, what happened was there, the uh, people who settled here started feel, filling outwards from that original piece yeah. of land, and now Manhattan, if I remember correctly, is something like 30% larger than it was originally, which is Because of all the landfill. Crazy. They, yeah. Because of all Crazy. the landfill, yeah. So Ma Lower Manhattan used to be very, very narrow. And um, the cool thing is that map has our current street on it. Yeah. And I was very excited to see that the street did exist in the original version yes. of Manhattan. Um, okay, so those are our uh, contributions. We might have a few others later. But for now, let's get started with our first um, guest. Now, I hope I say his name right. I think you're better at this, but I'm going to try. Quivin Oferiel. Is that I think right? That's, that's pretty close, yeah. How would you I'm sure say? the Irish speakers out there will correct us. Yes, please do. Quivino for real? Oh, for real. Yeah, I think like so. Like for real. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways, so Quivin is an amazing musician, and he's won some awards, and one of them I didn't know about it, so I'm just going to tell you guys. He was the two, uh, 2012 TG4 Young Musician of the Year. That is a big deal award. Wait, 2012? I thought... 
Oh, yeah. 2012. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. And then Sorry. 2021, this is the one I didn't know about. He was RTE Radio 1's best folk instrumentalist. Very cool. Yeah. So he's got a few tunes for us, and we'll get started with those. Hello, tune suppliers. Hope you're all keeping well and playing loads. Um, Quirino Faril here down in Ryan County Waterford. And uh, I play a couple of tunes on the flute for you. Um, and these are three reels. The first one is called The Crooked Road to Dublin. Um, it's not so crooked anymore with the motorways and all, but it used to be. Um, and the second tune is called Last Night's Fun. Um, and then the third one is the Abbey Reel. And we'll assume it's named after some ancient uh, historic abbey somewhere in the country, maybe, to go with the theme. Um, yeah, and the second and third tune were uh, played a lot by the great Mike Rafferty, uh, flute player from from Balnakil in East Galway, who lived for years in the States. Um, so two favourites of his, I think. So um, we'll give him a go and hope you enjoy and play along. So.
was such a great pace. So fluid. Very and reasonable. Very yes. reasonable speed. Yes. And um, I, I want to remind everybody, if you see some artists on Toons Play that you love, um, make sure to go check out their websites and um, perhaps purchase their records. I think that Cleaving has some CDs, right? I don't know. Presumably. Um, I think he does. And um, uh, yes, just generally, if you're able to support folks, um, especially in the pandemic, uh, that's the purpose of Tunes Play. But, but just generally, you know, um, the life of a trad musician is um, uh, it's, it's difficult in a lot of respects. And so um, any sort of, um, you know, support you can give to any of the musicians is always appreciated. Um, Okay, so I wrote a few notes from the comments here. Number one, somebody commented on my shirt, and I meant to say this during the um, the ancient history spot. Oh, this right. is a is a T-shirt that my that my mom gave me. She was going to get rid of it, and it's from a festival she went to. I think in the seventies. Mom, correct me if you're wrong. If I'm wrong, um, it's from uh, uh, Louisiana. She used to live in Louisiana, and I love it. In fact, I I don't actually wear it too much anymore because I want it to last forever, and so right. I had to go dig it out of the right. un, the the underbed, as we call it, um, to get it out for today. So yes, that's that's my shirt. Um, thank you for noticing. Um, number two, uh, we we know that there's a few folks here who um, are here for the first time, or here for the first time while it's live. Um, Leslie and Melody were the two that we knew about, but um, anybody else who's here, let us know, because we like to say hi, um, and I'm sure everybody else in the chat will say hi too. We're a very overly friendly bunch here. Um, and uh, I, it's, it's interesting, because we've never done a, a Sunday session, so there might be some people who could come yep. today and can't come on Mondays, so yep. it's yeah. great to see you guys. And lastly, I forgot to say that um, this entire session series runs on your contributions. Um, as does the real in-person Marios. It's the same financial model. Um, so if you're able to contribute, um, the link is there. Um, I'll put it in the chat, and it's always always down in the um, in the description. It's also always over on the website as well. Um, if you if you uh, want to give money at a different time, it's it's always available for you. Um, and we have so far put about forty thousand dollars into musicians' pockets through the virtual session. And we actually did some accounting the other day, and the amount that we've put through Tune Supply as a whole is a hundred and sixty-seven thousand at this point. Cool. Mostly from twenty twenty-one and twenty twenty. Yes. Um, we haven't done much this year yet, but um, Leslie has mentioned that you can't click on this. That is true. That's it doesn't true. work. Um, it might even stop your video yeah, if you try, so, so don't do that. I'll, yeah, put, I'll are... put it in the chat in just a second, or just go down in your description, um, and you can find it there. Yeah, yes. I wish it was clickable, but... That would be great, but it's, yeah, we I can't. Don't... There's no way to do there's that. There's no way to do that, yeah. right? Yeah. We would Not be doing it. Stream. Not we... on the watch stream. That's true. Yeah. If it was possible, Chris would have done yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on here. Um, oh, actually, on the, on, on the subject of the store, which I mentioned earlier, do you want to put the store link yeah, up? Yeah, sure. Or in the in the chat. Oh, oh, wow! That you are so fast at that. Chris has a new toy that allows him to do things really quickly, um, quicker sure. than normal, yeah. which is amazing. Um, I've been Woo! revamping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, carry on. I bet I could push some buttons over here too. Um, I, we've been revamping the the Tunes by store. Um, we did merch first, and that's getting going. Um, and we just today finished putting up the new revised pr online private lessons. Um, when we first rolled this out, you didn't get to pick the specific teacher that you wanted. Um, there's reasons for that, I won't get into that, but anyways, in the revamp, you can pick the exact teacher that you want, and all of our uh, teachers have selected their own rights. Um, so you can go over there and check that out. I'll put the direct link um, in the chat when we go to the next artist here. Um, and if you're wanting some online lessons, this is the time that teachers have gotten really good at teaching online. Some of us were a little uh, not so sure at the first, me included. Um, but they've gotten really great, and you can teach, take lessons from people all over the world. Um, it's, it's quite cool. Um, our, oh, do you want to show the picture? Oh, yeah. Okay, so when I, put, <laughs> when I put the lessons on the store, they automatically go into our Facebook store. That Facebook doesn't let us sell things that are not actually physical things, which is totally fine because we have the regular store. Anyways, I was expecting a note back from Facebook saying you can't sell these lessons. So I did get the note back, but here's what it said. <laughs> this is the pipes lesson. You'll notice it says, listings may not promote the buying, selling, or use of weapons, ammunition, or explosives. <laughs> wow. So I guess Facebook thinks that pipe, ill and pipes are weapons or explosives. That is, I, um, 
I mean, pipe, Scottish pipes were used kind of in a, in a, yeah, in yeah. a weapon-like setting. So yeah. there you go. Anyways, okay. So don't worry. We won't uh, explode you <laughs> if you take a, a pipes lesson. Um, we also put our subscription series back up on the website, and you can buy these now um, for basic... Oh, Oh, that's the lessons. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is a picture of all the lessons that we have up there. And they're, they're organized by instrument. And then when you click in there, you can see all the teachers that are teaching. So it's very fancy. Okay, and we put our subscription um, series back up online. And these are pay what you want now. And you get all the videos all at once. We don't send you one a day. But we just, we were thinking like we've got so much good music, so many videos and lessons. Might as well throw them up there. And of course, the, uh, the money that we get will be split between the artists that were originally part of the series. So if you missed out the first time, you can go grab those for a really cheap price. I mean, it's pay what you want. So you can pay, you can pay what you want. Um, okay. And yes. Okay. There's other things, but I, let's go. Let's go to the next. Yeah. The yeah next sounds people. good. Um, so I'm very excited about these next, next guests. Um, we have my personal fiddle hero, Kevin Burke. And my personal um, hero uh, of, in all respects, um, Nula Kennedy, a good friend of mine, uh, they agreed to, agreed to um, record some tunes for us. And we're just um, honored and excited and grateful and all of those sorts of things. So um, I think they're, they're also like cooking something. So yeah. let's go see what they've got. Hi, everyone at Tune Supply. Hi, Caitlin. It's great to be back playing a few tunes with y'all. I'm in my kitchen with a lovely vegetable soup on the go here and some nice brown bread that I made earlier. Here it's a piece here. It's very all very traditional, including the guest with me here. Hello, hello. Aha. Kevin Burke here. How are you doing? Great to see y'all. <laughs> here in uh, in um Nula's house. Uh, I'm going to play a couple of tunes for you and uh, we're going to start off with two jigs, torn rose jig and the baccarin ram. So here we go with the two jigs. Um, play the first one three times and the second one twice. It's, the second one has three parts to it. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Looks like good soup. Yes. Yeah. Um, we will be checking back in with Kevin and Nula to, to have more tunes and most importantly to see the soup a little later. Yep. And then we're going to hand it out, so I'll make sure your appetites are uh, <laughs> up. Yes. Stick around if you want soup. Um, okay, so we, are, we have changed up the kind of general format of the session, not that it matters at all, but we're actually gonna do the community pictures now, kind of early in the session, and then we have a really special treat, which I neglected to mention in the email that went out this morning. So I guess we might as well keep it a secret for now, but Great. it's gonna happen like very shortly. Mm -hmm. So- um, Nula's got a new CD, by the way. Oh yeah, Nula has um, a new CD. With her band, The Alt, Day Is Come. Um, so check that out. Yes, and I have the band camp. Maybe I will put that in Great. right now. Yeah. So you can get a physical copy or the recording. There is the um, link. Um, the alt is Nula's band with Eamon O'Leary and John Doyle. And they're really good. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, need to say that. They're yeah. really good. Um, okay. And I was also going to mention that Kevin, we did a, a concert. Do you want to tell them about the Celtic Oh, Festival? yeah. So last, actually just about a year ago, mm -hmm. we produced a entirely remote virtual Celtic Fiddle Festival concert um, with the four guys and um, it was right here on Toot Supply and um, yeah it was, uh, it was a great event. I think we had something like 8,000 people that watched it eventually. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I, put, I just put the link for Celtic Fiddle Festival concert um, in the chat as well and uh, yeah that was one of our favorite projects that we did. Really yeah. really special mm -hmm. um, for me. Uh, at least I grew up listening to Kevin's music so it was very yes. cool. Um, okay, we're going to do community pictures right now, just a little early. Um, let me make sure I have all my notes, because I hate it when I get the details uh, wrong yeah, on important. somebody's yeah. picture. Okay, should we yeah. should we see what we've got here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to read the description? Mm -hmm. This is uh, from Elena Smith, um, her parents' 60th anniversary. It was just recently. That's the, right, the, they've right. been married for 60 years. Right. Very, very cool. Angela Bosser sent this in. Okay, I have notes on this one. It says, here is a dinosaur track from the dinosaur track site called the Red Gulch Dinosaur Track Site um, that uh, her husband discovered. And her husband's name is Eric Qualley. Um, it's here in northern Wyoming, not far from where they live. And the age is Middle Jurassic, about 167 million years old. Cool. That's ancient history, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is, oh gosh. This is Era Didakian, I think, mm -hmm. right? His Hondo 305 Street Scrambler. Yes, and he actually he also sent us a picture of his flip cell phone, uh, which I which I couldn't get out of the email, strangely, yeah. to yeah. put it onto the website. But very good, ancient okay. technology. Bob Dingaman sent this in. Um, this is uh, his. I think this is two, his two sisters at McGrath's Castle in 2014, cool. and I think it's the castle that's supposed to be the the ancient history here. Yeah, I think. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> not the sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is from Dan, uh, 1972 Seabird Ecology. Yes, okay, yes, and uh, he was doing, do, does it have a place name? Oh, yeah. Grand Manon, California? And, um, Canada. Oh. Yeah, and I did a little seabird uh, research myself back in the day, and it is quite fun. That looks like a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, these are the babies, um, uh, storm petrels yes. that, that they were working on. Also from Dan. Yeah, those are, that's from Dan as well. Okay, three pictures from Gordon Nash. Okay, these have a story with okay, them. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so Gordon says that he had an interesting little adventure. Um, he used the TARDIS machine to take him back to ancient <laughs> Egypt. Um, okay. And this first one is um, him getting ready, I guess, to go. Okay, and the next one is... He says, some friends painted this picture of me and Seth. Notice I'm giving that jackal head a bone. I didn't want to visit empty-handed. It's <laughs> good, right? Okay. And then he says, I was bad and signed my name on the temple or of Dendor. I left the eye out of Gordy. And when engraving in, uh, graffiti, it's hard to correct your errors. Ah, yes. Very good extra points for, Very good. for um, cleverness. Okay. Okay. This is from Castuv Patwardan. Yes. Okay. And I have notes on this one. This is a polished slab of banded iron formation, which is probably around 2 to 2.5 billion years old. Whoa. Castube is a geologist, right? Yes. It's alternating layers of iron oxide minerals and silica. Very cool. Whoa. Okay. He also sent two unrelated pictures of um, his new kittens. This is Onyx. Beautiful. And Topaz. Okay, now just make sure you look at Topaz's eyes. Gorgeous. They're different colors. Okay, Mike in Juno sent a couple of pictures. 
Okay, yes, and I wrote these down. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is, I'm going to probably pronounce this wrong. This is from a bike trip that he did in, um, in Brittany with his wife and his daughter, and it's the Mentir du Champ de la Dolent. I am sure I did that wrong. Wow. Um, okay. Good. And the second one is um, Pont du Diable, Devil's Bridge. Devil's Bridge. And you may have heard of this one. They called it Devil's Bridge because um, nobody knew how it was built. It features an arch. Do you know about this? No. Like an arch that nobody could figure out how it was built, but it's from the Roman times. And um, so they figured, like, if they couldn't figure it out, then probably the devil built the bridge. Right, right, right. Um, Very in, cool. in the French Pyrenees. That last one. Great submissions, everyone. Whew, that okay. was a good theme. As usually, I apologize for any details I got wrong or left out. Put them in the chat if I, if I did it wrong. Um, okay, and then do I have two pictures? You have a, yeah. One I picture, I can't remember. Yeah, one, okay, just one, yeah. there's so many great pictures I could pull out, but I've pulled a lot of them out on the session before. So this is just my sisters and I um, with cats, and I, I, I'm showing this just to, just to prove that I've always been a cat lover. We always had like four to six cats growing up, um, and those are some of our, um, our favorites there. Lovely. That was the only one I picked out, right? Yeah. Great. Cool. Okay, so let's move along here. I think we are going to play some more tunes with you. And um, this set is a Mary O's classic um, set by um, Brendan. Brendan was the one who mm. put these together and brought the tunes to us. And I actually didn't know two of the tunes before he brought them. So I'm very grateful to him. They are the humors of Glenn Dart, uh, Saddle the Pony, and the Spotted Dog. And I always forget which order people like to play them in so Mario's folks tell me if this is the wrong order um, just so I can write it down mm -hmm. but we will do this order for now and uh, the first one is in the key of D right and then G and then A, a. and they're all jigs okay uh, one two three four <laughs>
Uh, so James Cleveland confirmed that that is the correct order of the tunes as played um, by the in-person Mario's folks, and uh, people are saying that that's, this is really a great set, and I, I absolutely agree, and I cannot take credit for it. This was uh, Brendan who put that set together, and um, we we love it, especially the last tune. I really love Spotted Dog. Yeah, great. And tune. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it. It's it's really an excellent tune. Um, very good. Okay, so I hope mm -hmm. if you I'm don't glad know, we got this, the order right. I am, I am also, I was sweating yeah, there a little yeah, bit to make yeah. sure. <laughs> they actually go in almost any order. That's, that's, why, true. that's why I can't remember the, the real order. That's because true. they yeah. work, yeah, but it's always nice to end on A. It's so bright. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you learn those tunes if you don't know them. They're, they're really great. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, we mentioned last time that we're making a new product for the store. Um, Anna Colleton, uh, Bauranist extraordinaire and designer and photographer, is is making the design, and it's going to include a tune uh, going down the sleeves, like the actual music, the notes of yeah. the tune. Um, and we're holding a vote now on the top ten suggestions. Last week you all suggested things for us, and online, and now we have an actual vote. And you may have voted already, but that doesn't mean that you can't vote again. Vote early, um, vote often. Yes, you can vote once per day per device. And let me find the link here. I might, I thought I had it up here. I might have to go find it. I might, okay, I have to find it in just a second. But I'm going to put it into the chat. Um, you can vote for your favorite tune that you think should go down the, the arms of the sleeve. Um, okay, and then I have an update. We mentioned that uh, one of the sessioneers wrote a tune called the Omicron Hornpipe. And we promised you that we would get you a recording in the sheet music so you could practice it. And we did not do that. Um, this has been a very, very busy week for us. Um, last night we played a big gig. We got another big gig on Tuesday and we got the show. It's crazy. So anyways, uh, will you show them the sheet music? Okay, so it's here. And, and I suppose you could come back and just pause the video right there. I also have put it up on the Mario soundboard, which I'm going to put in the chat right now. Uh, what's the... Tunes dot supply, tune dot supply. Tune dot supply slash sounds. There you go. Um, so you can find it there as along with your own set of sound effects if you'd like to use those. Um, and next week on the number five session, we will play the tune for real. Okay, and we're gonna Promise. for real get yeah. you a recording as well, and we'll sell, send that out to the mailing list. Yes. Um, so you can practice. Okay. Um, also on that soundboard page, you might want to head over there just uh, even if you don't want to learn the Omicron Hornpipe because the lyrics to the next song that Ashley Davis is going to sing right now are over there. So you, you can sing along at home if you'd like. Um, again, yes, Chris put it up. Tune supply slash sounds and just scroll down a little bit below the sound effects. And with that, we will introduce um, amazing singer from Kansas, um, Ashley Davis. Here we go. Hi folks, Ashley Davis here, looking forward to being part of this session this evening. Uh, very happy to share a song with you that I learned when I was a graduate student over at the University of Limerick. Today, I'm hosting you from my studio here in Lawrence, Kansas. It's about 19 degrees outside, so it's nice to be in the cozy space. Um, I really thought about what song to share with you. This is one I've never recorded, but I hope I get to record at some point. And absolutely one of my favorites, and I always sing it when I'm at a session, which is kind of strange that I never recorded it yet, but maybe I just keep it for those special occasions. I hope that you'll learn it along with me. You should have the lyrics, and um, if you don't, Caitlin has them. So this is How Can I Live at the Top of the Mountain, also known as Bonnie Blue-Eyed Lassie, also known as Bonnie Blue-Eyed Nancy. How can I live at the top of the mountain With no money in my pocket Or gold for to count it But I will let the money go for to please her fancy and I would marry no one but my bonny blue-eyed lassie she's my bonny blue-eyed lassie 
with an air so sweet and tender, her walk like the swan that floats, her way so small and slender, her golden hair in her ringlets fell upon her snow white shoulders. And I'd ask her for to marry me. There's no one that could be bolder. Some people are saying she is very low in station. And other people are saying she'll be the cause of my ruination. But let them all say what they will, to me she will prove constant still. Till the day I die she'll always be my own lovely lady. Lightly swims the swan that floats o'er the clear and flowing water and blithely sings the nightingale so happy to behold her the winds do blow the moorcocks crow the moon it shines so deeply but deeper by far is my love for my own lovely lady Happy singing. Yeah. Beautiful. We, um, uh, we kind of neglected having many singers or any singers on these Omicron sessions, yeah. and I feel a little bit horrible about that. Um, Martin is going to be on next week, but I think he's, I don't know what he's doing. Do you know? Could be anything. Could be anything could be Baron, with Martin. Could be a story. Could be a story. A story would be nice. Um, anyways, I'm sorry to the singers and those who love the songs. I should have been more on that. Um, I will remember that for the future. Um, but excellent job, Ashley. And Ashley has a bunch of amazing recordings and she's got a band. Um, and she, she was part of the trio of, of female singers, um, who did the finale for, was it Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was four singers. Four um, singers. Ashley, Chloe, Hannah Reed, and Sarah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which was, yeah, that was really cool. I forgot about that. There, there's been so much stuff and yeah. I forgot about it already. But um, yeah, go back and watch that if you enjoyed um, Ashley's singing. Um, okay, we have the special, special surprise. Do you need a, a drum roll? Yes. I always think there's going to be one more beat after that. No. <laughs> um, and that was James Yoshizawa, of course, with the drum roll. Okay, so, you know, we play our silly word game every, uh, every week. Uh, a few weeks ago, the winner wrote to us, um, her name is Hannah Vadin, is that right? Mm -hmm. Make sure I say it right. And we noticed, she didn't say anything about her background, but at the bottom of her email, it had some links. And I always am interested to see what people do in their lives. And, and I, frankly, like everybody who has come into contact with us for Toon Supply has been a fascinating person who does fascinating things. Yeah. So I always, always want to learn more about people. Anyway, so I clicked on her links and it turns out that she is an expert at Old English, Old English words. Yep. And she has tons of projects relating to Old English uh, words and she's got some uh, medieval comic projects and medieval like bestiary um, and a book, stuff and, and a, a blog she has and a book and a blog, a blog called Old, old English word of the day or something like that. Yeah. Um, and so I wrote to her and I was like, would you please do our word game for us? Because we are not experts at words and you are. And it would be very cool to have some old English words for, for our sessioneers to play around with. And she said, yes. Um, so uh, she's got the video uh, coming up in a moment. At the very end, you'll see the two words that you guys are going to do your normal amazing stuff with and tell us what you think the definitions are okay did i get all the details i think so okay let's go hi tune suppliers my name is hannah Vidin and i make the old english word of the day blog old english is the language that was spoken in england from around 550 to 1150 it's the language that beowulf is written in i recently published a book 
the word hoard, daily life in Old English. The word hoard describes a poet's collection of words and phrases that they draw upon when they're telling a story. So rather than a, a physical object like a dictionary, it's more of a metaphor. The word for song in Old English is layoff. So I think a really great name for tune supply in Old English would be layoff hoard. Now, so a couple more music words for you. Dram craft is a word for music, and it literally translates as joy craft. And the word gamenwoode is a word for a harp, and it literally means merriment wood. Um, so you can find out more about my book on my website, oldenglishwordhoard.com. I have links um, for where to order and pre-order. It's currently available in the UK, but it will be published in North America in April. And you can also subscribe there for the Old English Word of the Day, or you can follow me on Twitter at OEWordHoard, or find, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. There's also a Word Hoard app for iOS, and it's free, so you can download that. And now for your word game words, New York Snowong and Wavergang. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Me too. Um, thank you, Hannah, for that uh, lovely uh, word game. I'm almost crying. I'm yeah. so pleased with yes. this whole thing. And I think that uh, Hannah, Hannah, right? Hannah yeah. Vaidin, I think we said it yeah. wrong the first time. I think she's in the chat. So if I think if you have any questions for her, go ahead and ask. Um, we'll put some of those links in so you can just click them. Um, but we've got the two words here, and we're going to try to pronounce them ourselves. Um, New York's the Wong. New York's no Wang? No, New York's no Wang. New York's no Wang yeah. and Waferganga. Waferganga? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think these um, are going to be good. Wow. So, you all know um, how this game works. Please put your uh, suggestions for what these words mean into the chat, and we will select some winners. Now, I forgot to say before we started here, this is going to be our final word game. Next week, if I can convince... Chris, we might play bingo. We might. Don't get your hopes up. We might. Oh, might we? <laughs> but this is going to be the grand finale of the word game. I'm, I'm actually like running out of words in my word book. And um, there's no way to top. Um, no, there's no uh, way. Hannah's word game. So uh, Hannah could probably run the word game yeah. for another couple yes. of years if, yes. if, if we wanted. But um, anyway, so make it make it good. And maybe we'll have some extra prizes. We'll see. Um, and make sure you use the correct AE letter there. Yep. If you put it, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I had to look up how to make that letter. <laughs> there were some weirder letters in yeah, the, uh, the the th letter. Yeah, the th yeah. letter. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so um, yeah, put your put your definitions in the chat there. While you are doing that, um, we are going to actually go into two guest artists here. So you've got a lot of time, and we've got a lot of time to figure out. Um, the winners of the game. Uh, first, we've got Christine Hedden, who's a, a great fiddle player. She's going to start us off there. And then we have um, an old favorite himself. Not, he's not old. I mean, that he's like, we've had him on the session a lot. He's That's also not, not playing the old favorite. No. <laughs> Anyways, John Redmond is going to be here with some tunes. He has not come to the virtual session in a while, so yeah. we're really excited to have him. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Here we go. Hello. My name is Christine Delphine Hedden here in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, today we'll be playing Tomb Grainy Castle, which is an ancient castle in County Clare, and Stack of Wheat, um, which I like to bake and cook. And sometimes I think about how grateful I am to whoever discovered that flour and sugar and butter to, could create so much tasty goodness. So here we go.
Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Tune Supply and Happy New Year to everybody. My name is John Redmond. I'm going to play you a set of reels that I heard in Mario's uh, originally. And uh, it's a set called that starts with Goodbye to Ireland, the Hair's Paw, and uh, Spooky Scary. And they're in the keys of D, G, and G. Okay. Thank you. 
than he usually does, right? Yeah, usually has a Paolo, I think. Huh. So I don't know what that I one is. I don't know. And yeah. Very interesting. And we noticed that John got a new camera, I think. Looks Maybe. great. I don't know. I think so. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, I've changed my shirt, by the way, to another... Uh, ancient history. Ancient history shirt. This was also my in my um, collection. It's from the Fairbanks Folk Festival. Uh, what does it say? Fifth, oh, 1991. 1991. Yeah. So this is some old history, too. I like that it has a dog looking at a man playing a guitar. It's, it's very good. Um, okay, so we have too many winners for this last game, but that's okay because it's it's our last word game for now, at least. Um, so, okay, we have we have like six in the queue here. Uh, oh gosh, okay, so let's do some, let's do some runner ups first. Okay. Um, let's see, how about Mimi, runner up? Do you remember how to say it? New York Snow Wong. How New Yorkers felt right about March 15th, 2020. And now. Very good. I still yeah. feel <laughs> like that. Okay. Um, good. And we have, uh, let's see, Kurt uh, has a runner up here. Mm -hmm. The Old English version of Gangnam Style. <laughs> it's really good. Good. Really good. Okay. Gosh. And I, I want to pick three winners, and there's four on my screen, and I, I don't know what to do. Do you have a vote here on no. what the third runner up should be? Yeah. Um, Let's see. Let's make it. Let's make it Harris. Harris is the runner-up. Yeah. Harris Rothman with Waverganga, the Keebler Elves Black Market Mob Connected Competitors. <laughs> That's really good. Strong, a strong effort there, Harris. Really good. Um, mm -hmm. Really, really good. Okay. Our three winners, and we haven't said what the prizes are, but so let me just say what they are. You can, as usual, select a tune of your choosing, which Chris will carefully uh, hand print using his printer. Um, on a mailing label, and you can stick it to anything you want. Yeah. Okay, you get to choose the tune. Very valuable, rare mm -hmm. collector's item. Yep. You can choose a shirt, but we you can't tell us what it is just yet because we don't actually know what shirts we have in stock. So yes. you have to so tell the us. The shirt like, would be delayed by two to three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So that's an option. Any of the shirts that are on that are available at that time. Um, just co keeping with the ancient history theme, I have some pieces of Alaskan jade, which is pretty nice. cool, actually couple pieces I would give one of those to a winner and I mentioned last week I'm just trying to give this book to somebody and if no, none of the winners want it I'll just send it to somebody else who wants it it's this great book full of sheet music fiddle tunes uh, fiddle traditions from the pages of strings magazine I just have already learned the tunes that I want to out of it so I just wanted to give it to somebody so those are your choices okay go ahead okay, so our three winners Rebecca New York Stawong is that place in New York City that you can't quite remember why they're so great, but they are. That is such a true New York feeling. And yeah. you're like, I think it was in the West yeah. 20s somewhere. Like, yeah. it was on the corner. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, and we have Andy. New York's Dewan will be Tesla's new name. Nobody can spell it, so they can never be served with a lawsuit. Yes, and it sounds like uh, Elon good. Musk's actual child's name. Yeah, right. Who also mm -hmm. can't pronounce the name. And Alina with Waverganga, a troop of goodly fellows who were really into making waffles. <laughs> Amazing. Great. Amazing. Congratulations okay. to our big prize winners. Yes. So you have to tell us what you want. Um, an email would be preferable yes. if possible. And our email address is tunes at tune.supply. Uh, so just let us know what you want. I'm now going to tell you what the real definitions are. Um, can you say the words? New York Snowong. New York Snowong. Oh, she put the, put the pronunciations here. Oh. New York Snowong. It means paradise. 
Kind of like New York. Mm -hmm. I like that it starts with New York. Yeah. Okay, and then Waverganga means spider or literally weaver walker. Very cool. Yeah, really cool imagery. Um, I also really like the translation of Toon Supply. Ah, yes. Um, Leoth Horde. Leoth Horde, and it looks like leopard on yeah, the, on it does look the like screen. Leopard. And I, we were, Anna, I have to talk to you because we were thinking about like maybe making a old English style little logo just for yeah. fun. It would be yeah. very cool. Okay. Thank you again to Hannah and please check out her stuff and we are going to order her book as soon as it comes out in the U.S. Um, okay. She also sent two cool old pictures. Um, this one is uh, the beginning of Beowulf so people can actually see what old English looks like. 10th or 11th century and made in England. Okay. And then this one she says is just for fun a music picture. Um, it is a gradual, a book of chants for singing in mass produced in the late 11th century. Notation is plotted on different heights to indicate different pitches. Cool. And that is, uh, we don't know what instrument that is. Looks a little like a violin. Vaguely, like yeah. Old violin. Um, cool. Okay, so thanks again uh, for Thank playing you, the word game with us all these, all these months. Um, and thanks to uh, Christine and John for those tunes. Uh, okay, now we were going to play a tune, a set of tunes here, which some of you may have learned. I'm not sure. Um, it, they are called uh, the Portumna, Portumna Workhouse and uh, the Hurling Lads of Portumna. Uh, they're tunes that Joni Madden wrote that I learned recently when I went to play with Cherished Ladies for a bit, and I loved them, and I wanted to teach them to everybody. And in fact, I did teach them to some classes recently, and we were practicing them up, and I thought we put these on the session we are going to get a copyright strike from youtube which we try to avoid it doesn't i mean it doesn't like we don't go to jail or anything but like <laughs> it's not great if we get those and i was like oh, i can't play those on on yeah. on the session that is the world we live in so we have changed this at the last minute i'm so sorry for those who learned it um but these new tunes we're going to play tonight um the first one is called goodbye to ireland now it's not the real it's the slow kind of march like tune uh, i actually learned it from john renbent many years ago Though he says he doesn't remember that happening, which is interesting. Um, and then we'll go into uh, the old bush, um, which is in keeping with our theme for the evening. Okay. If you don't know the first one, you might be able to pick it up as we go. It's, whoa. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy, and it's in the key of E minor. Do you want to start it off? Sure.
was just thinking that. But it might be because we always play it into another tune, which sure. we did not play right at that moment. But yeah. um, what a great tune. I like. I feel like that should be a tune that I play every session, and I, for, for some reason, always forget about it. It's a nice tune. Really, very, very modal. Yeah. It's it's hard to tell, like, what key it's mm. in. It's, it's, it's great. We often play that with a tune by um, John Doyle afterwards called Expect the Unexpected, which okay. is a... Um, a monster of a tune in in the best sense. It's like a slightly jazzy tune, so I didn't want to put it right here in the sitar session. But um, okay, let's see uh, what's next. Um, the poem. Oh, the poem. the poem. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is well after the halftime, as as planned. We only have a few more things, um, but we wanted to get the word game in early tonight yes. since that was so special. So we have uh, as usual a poem from Mimi and maybe Amos. Okay, let's see what. Got it. Hey folks in Tune Supply Land, uh, it's Mimi and Amos, and we're here to bring you an incredibly bad poem in honor of the theme of ancient history. Let us walk through the alphabet of today's ancient history. It might help us remember and dispel some of the mystery. There were Aegeans who worshiped all those who grew old the Clactonians, I think, liked to drink when they bowled. The Gasulians all laughed until they passed out. Don't forget the Inukshuks who did not invent stout. Descendants of Lupemben tend to have two left feet, and we all know the Minoans can be so indiscreet. How about them old ones and their houses so puny? But the Sangoans developed the first light rail muni. Trapilia culture was doom, doomed from word go. They didn't have enough vowels, so they had to borrow some, you know. And last but not least, the old urn field cultures. Those urns never grew in the fields, hence the vultures. If you absent those days and you missed the opportunities when your teacher described all these ancient communities, fear not, you're okay. Our own world has much for us to learn from and regret and blah, 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 and such and such. But tune supply lives, though two years feels eternal. <laughs> We've made a little wonderful history out of situation infernal. Um, thanks to everybody who helped make tonight's uh, session wonderful and uh, hope you're all keeping safe and wearing your mask. And um, please chip into the box if you can. Uh, this is not free, you know, this takes effort. And um, please, uh, Caitlin and Chris, know how much we love you. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Eat your kibble. Bye. Wow. Okay. I think That's that poem one. deserves a sound effect. Yeah, um, sure. That was amazing. Which one? Woo! Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really think that we should put together a book of Mimi's poems because, you know, it's not just the 80 or so that have happened on the virtual session. Mimi has done this for the six year, the, the six other years that we've done the Mario <laughs> session in person. Um, so that would be, I'd pay for that book. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, and I noticed that Amos has a new hat. I think that was a new hat, right? <laughs> With the tune supply burb on the top of it. Um, okay, so as, as Mimi mentioned, um, uh, I suppose like this is free and that you can be here without paying any money, um, of course, and we are happy to have everybody. Um, but uh, as, as we say in the in-person the in -life, in -person session, um, this is a pay what you can, play what you can sort of uh, endeavor and the money that we collect in the box, which is virtual right now, but looks like this, um, we use to pay all of our guests. And we have been having quite a lot of guests on these Omicron sessions. And so far, we've been able to pay them all what we said we were going to pay them, which was good because <laughs> if we don't get enough money, then we pay them out of our pockets, which we don't mind. But um, it's always very helpful if we um, have contributions coming in from the community. So the link is there on Chris's head and I will throw it in the chat once again. And thank you to everybody who has been helping us um, through this little five pack of Omicron sessions. It's it's so far worked out and uh, we got one more after this. So we'll, we'll go for yeah. um, go for broke on these, on these last ones. So somebody just put in the chat, they're watching from Tahiti. Whoa. Very cool. Oh my gosh. I don't think gosh. we've had anyone from Tahiti no. that we know of. 
Uh, wow, that's amazing. And um, I, I, who, I didn't see the name, but we were wondering if you're a musician. Um, Five Photo Man 3. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let us know if you're a musician in Tahiti. I was in Tahiti once. Um, I started a, a six-week uh, sailing trip from Tahiti. Yeah. And it was, it was hot. It was very hot. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yes, we have musicians from Bali who are going to bring us a video for the uh, for the virtual session next week. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, and um, I suppose if, if um, somebody from Tahiti wants to jump in, like yeah, we could sure. uh, link you up there. Um, great, okay, so let's see. Mario's is not back in person yet, the session. Uh, just so everybody knows, Mimi and I and, and our other board members will let you know when it comes back. For now, it's still off. But Mary is still there um, uh, serving tasty dinner and um, scones and um, all sorts of things. So please stop by if you're if you're in the area. Um, okay, one more thing before we have our uh, final guest. And that is some videos from Brenda Castles that are not music. Brenda is up in Alaska right now on tour and she has been posting some cool stuff. And so we asked if she could send us a few to share with you and she did. So these are videos from uh, Homer and Seldovia, Alaska. Enjoy. They're native. I had a fur. Not native. Look! <laughs> Look at them! Serious piece of voice for a piece of a bowl. It's not some serious fucking damage. job Brenda's been sending me messages like oh my god Alaska is the best place ever I just I want to stay here it's I love it here people are great um, you know and it's it's January in Alaska right now so as it is here I should say um, <laughs> I think it's January everywhere but. <laughs> so to me like if somebody goes to Alaska in January and loves it they're really gonna love yeah. it in summer yeah that's true. Um, it's 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 cold up there in, in January so um, uh, we hope she's She's having a continued good time. Um, okay, so next we have David Munnelly with some accordion tunes here. We haven't had David in a while. Yeah, he's a fabulous uh, accordion player in yes. County Mayo. Yes, um, okay, so here we go. How's it going? Uh, Dave Munnelly here to play a few tunes for you. Thanks to, to Caitlin and Tune Supply for asking me to do this. Uh, we'll pick two pretty standard tunes just to get us playing. Um, the, the first one is a tune, I, I come from County Mayo, and um, a big influence on, on the music from this part of the, co the, co the country is the music of the great players from the North Mayo, South Sligo region. And one of them people was a man that died only about maybe less than 30 years ago, a man called Fred Finn. Um, and a tune, very commonly named after him called Fred Finns. And then we go into a, another tune in G. And it's another very popular tune in Sligo and Galway. It's called the Sally Gardens. And um, these are probably two well-known tunes. So, and it will be played frequently, I'm sure. <laughs> Even over in the States there. So, anyway, Fred Finns and the Sally Gardens. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to Dave's playing forever. It's endlessly interesting. It's like Aiden yeah. Connelly's playing. We were just talking about how his basses are oh my amazing. God. Yes. Nobody plays the basses on the accordion like David Mumley. No. It's yeah. it's so fascinating. It's so cool. Um, <clears throat> it'd be great to get Dave to New York for a concert too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Too much to do. Um, all right. So we do have, as promised, one more set with Kevin and Nula in just a second. Um, before we do that, a couple of just announcements about things that are happening um, this week. The first one is not music related at all. Um, you, some of you may remember, uh, like, I don't even know how long ago, a year, a month, uh, who knows. I won a virtual visit to the Alaska Sea Life Center and Alaska Raptor Center at a silent auction in support of the Sea Life Center. And I wanted to bring sessioneers along with me for this visit. Well, it took a really long time to get it scheduled, but we are finally doing the virtual visit to the Raptor Center on Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, which is 12.30 Alaska time. And um, this is open to whomever wants to come but I need your email address in order to send you the Zoom link. We are going to be meeting one of the birds that they have in their um, collection of birds. We, we were allowed to request a bird, <clears throat> and I requested this bird, which is a snowy owl, um, but I said, really, any owl who wants to come meet us would be great. <laughs> um, or, I mean, it doesn't matter. Any bird would be great, but um, I'm a fan of owls, especially snowy owls, so we will see who we get to meet. I'll just put their website in the chat here so you can check them out. Um, and I will also, in just a second, put the sign up um, to uh, so that you can sign up and let me know what your email address is, and then I will get the link out to everybody um, as soon as they give it to me. Okay, does that make sense? Did I explain that? I well, think so. okay, yeah. good. Last two things are just very quickly. It is not too late to sign up for Irish Arts Center fiddle classes. They start tomorrow, mm -hmm. and they are the reason that we cannot do a session tomorrow. Um, so uh, that's levels one, two, three, four, and six. Level five already started. That's with Pat Mangan. Yeah. Um, but you can you can still sign up if you want to. I'll put that link in the chat. And lastly, Chris and I are doing virtual Burns Night on Tuesday evening. We mentioned it um, last week. BurnsDistilled.com, and you can still get online streaming tickets for that. You can't get the Burns Supper in a box. That's sold out. Um, but you can get the streaming tickets, and I will put that link in the chat as well. Those are all my announcements. Mm -hmm. Um, so, without further ado, wait. Let's... There's there's oh. a little bit more ado. I oh. think we're going to talk about Nula's. Oh yeah. Um, Prince. Yes. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. So I was looking around on Nula's website so I could get you guys a link to buy her CDs, and I found that Nula has made these prints, art prints, and they say, "Dum diddly dum dum diddly dum" sorts of things. Yep. And also, I noticed that there is a bunch of. Um, uh, Irish sayings and words on, in the background there. So um, I just wanted to mention it because I didn't actually know that Nula was making art. Very cool. um, and you can order those on her website as well. So I'll throw that link in. Um, okay, did I get everything? That's everything, I think. Excellent, yeah. okay. So let's go check back in with Nula and Kevin and see how their soup is doing. Okay. Hi, we're back again with three reels. It's a very manly set. We've got uh, <laughs> the Galway Rambler. And then the man of the house. Yeah. And the boys of the lock. Boys of the lock. How many times? Okay. The first two are single reels, so we'll play them three times each. And then the third one is the double reel, so we'll play that twice. Okay, and these are all traditional, aren't they? Oh, very traditional. They're ancient history. Ancient, yeah. They're even <laughs> older than tradition. <laughs> like myself. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the closest thing we have to ancient history around here. One, hey, do, three. Bye. 
Soup ready yet? Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Oh, we should make a sound effect out of yeah, we bubbly, should. bubbly, bubbly. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you, Nuala and Kevin. That was lovely. Thank you, Nuala and Kevin. Um, I just got chills and teary eyes from seeing them and um gosh i haven't seen i haven't seen either of them now for years two years yeah. more than two years it's crazy um <laughs> man Whew. okay well hopefully we can get some of these folks over to new york um for a gig in person i, I would love to do that it sounds good to make that happen um so everybody grab your bowls here's we're gonna ladle some virtual soup into your bowls uh, yes. here okay right. okay okay um, thanks for sticking around until the end. We've got one more set to play with you in person here. Um, before we do that, new, uh, sorry, Marta Cook wrote to me earlier and mentioned that she is helping with a campaign to save the Cobblestone Pub in Dublin, which is um, at risk from some um, devilish developers coming and tearing it down and building who knows what. And the Cobblestone, condos, probably. yeah, probably condos. Yeah. Um, the Cobblestone Pub is a really important place for traditional Irish music in Dublin, as you might know. So she just wanted me to um, give you all this uh, link. It's actually on her website. She has put together a huge list of ways that you can help if you want. Um, mainly involves writing a letter to the city council. Um, apparently the city council told the developers that they have to stop and they appealed it and now it's going back to, hmm. to um, be discussed again, which is not good. So anyways, here's the link, um, all sorts of information if you want to help out. And I think some major thing is happening tomorrow. So get on it quickly if you, if you want help. 
And thanks to Marta for letting us know. I, I'm, we're starting to um, put out more, you know, community announcements and events and things like that on our newsletter and Facebook page. So if you um, have anything uh, that you think the community would benefit from or want to know about, just let us know and we'll include it. Um, okay, next week, last session for now of our o Omicron 5 pack. Um, we've got a ton of great folks as usual. Who's on next week? Brian Conway mm -hmm. and... Oh, I'm blanking. I think seven more, seven more folks for next week. Um, and the theme is, I, I don't know what this even means, but it's on, been on my theme list for like a year. So we're going to do it. It is marvels and m malfunctions. Marvels and malfunctions. Uh, so think on that for next week. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let's play our last set. Yeah. First, I want to show oh. um, the, the, picture that came in from oh, cool. um, from Tahiti, from our, our new friend on the cruise. He just sent us a picture, so I'm going to pull that up. Hopefully it works. Oh, Lovely. I forget that Tahiti is so mountainous. Yeah. Um, this is really wild. So somebody who's in Tahiti on a cruise, but is from the East Coast, is watching us and yeah. sent us a picture and you took the picture and put it on the stream, and now they are Magic. seeing the picture. Of... It's like you're in Tahiti. Yes, or right. in a time warp or something. <laughs> it's very strange. Modern yeah. life is quite strange. Um, deep thoughts. Mm -hmm. Deep thoughts at the end of the session, as usual. So let's play our last set. This is uh, another Mario's classic, Mouth of the Tobik. That's a French-Canadian tune. Um, Frank's Reel. Um, and Mountain Road. Now there is some choreography that we often do in person at Mario's on Frank's. I am not going to do it because I might knock over something around us. Probably a light or a camera and that would not be good. Yes, yeah, so we're, I'm not going to do it. But if you know the choreography, you can go ahead and do it at home. It involves standing up and shaking your butt back and forth at, at the, at the um, syncopation moment mm -hmm. in the B part. So go for it. Actually, you know who we didn't say anything about tonight? Toast. Oh, Toast, yeah. Toast, um... Well, Speaking Toast of was jumping freaking on out. things. Yeah, Toast was freaking out earlier um, <laughs> because he hadn't been fed enough to his liking. Um, yeah. And he was climbing up on our table here where we have our camera and computers and microphones and everything set up. So we banished him to the couch for now, but he's doing well. Well, he got banished to the bedroom, um, but yeah. he came out. And so we're not going to disturb him because... He's asleep and that's... Yeah, we should probably leave it that way. Let sleeping cats lie. Exactly. So we'll bring him out next week for the for the fifth session. Yes. Uh, okay. Here. Oh, uh, Bob has a question. Marvels or marbles? Marvels. Marvels with a V. With a v. Yeah. Marvels or malfunctions. Interpret as you wish. Okay. I have not looked at the chat. Have you been watching it? Yeah. Did anything important that I need to? Lots, but we're good. Okay. 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 I'll look at it afterwards. Stay on if you want to talk to us. Uh, Mouth of Tobik, G. Frank Streel, A. A. And Mountain Road, D, yep. to end off with. And as usual, we'll go just a snitch faster since our, it's our final set here. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Excellent, uh, excellent ending set. Hope you all were playing along there. We got going a little bit fast for the Citars theme, but not too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so let's see. I think that's it. You want to do the? You want to attempt the thank yous? Uh -huh. um, Kevin Burke and Nuala Kennedy, thank you both for joining us from County Clare. And we had David Munley and Mayo, Mayo. and Quivino for Real over in Waterford. Mm -hmm. Lots of uh, Irish folk on yes. tonight. And also thank you to uh, John Redmond and Christine Delphine Hidden mm -hmm. up in Boston. Mm -hmm. Was that it? And was that it? I feel it? like there was one more. I think that was. Who are we missing? Let me check. Um, also Hannah, Hannah, Vadim. Hannah Vadim. Um, Ashley Davis. Did you say? Oh, Ashley? and Ashley Davis. Of yes. Course. yes. In Kansas. So, yeah. um, great. So um, we had lots of extra stuff and links tonight. I. The chat does stay up. Um, you can go watch the chat later, but it does take YouTube a certain amount of time. What is it, like an hour or something to process the chat? So if you do want to go and check out links later, um, just come back in an hour or so and it will be it will be back. Mm -hmm. And also all of those links, I think, were in the, um, the mailing list that I sent out this morning to the Toon Supply group. If you're not on that mailing list, it would probably be a good idea to get on it if you like the silliness that we do here. Um, and you can always find the mailing list signups on uh, the Toonsply website if you click about. The, the mailing list signups and all of the contribution links are under that about tab. And I'll put that into the chat here in just a moment. And on the subject of contributions, if you haven't yet and you would like to throw some money into the hat for us to give out to our leaders, that would be lovely. Yes, if you're feeling generous, um, the link lives above my head or in the description of the video, and Caitlin's going to put it into the live chat. Um, so thank you to everyone who contributed. Um, we really, really appreciate that. So also, if you feel like giving the video a thumbs up, you could hit the like button or subscribe to the Toon Supply channel. That really helps us out to promote the videos. That's the part where I need, I need a little cover for my face mm. when you ask for the social media likes. Right. Um, yes, it does help us. And Facebook, we put everything on Facebook as well, so if you want to come over and be friends with us. That'd be great. Uh, okay. I think that's all. One more week. We'll see you Monday next week, not Sunday. Back to Monday, mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Uh, for our last Omicron virtual session. Okay. Okay. Night.